<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, thank you for joining me. Uh, you know, as it starts around 4 again, and you know, I've not chosen somebody to play as in a very long time. This is after my Victoria 2 play through uh, Prussia into Super Germany. So, I'm thinking I'm going to play someone I haven't played before. Actually, I have played this person before, but I've never recorded it before. And in a different game. Not, no, not Canada or Germany or France or Spain. Even though I'd be interested in playing both. I'll play as USA. Pretty easy. Alright, so we're in the United States. Uh, from what I know, they have a lot of factories. Can't use most of them because of the Great Depression. Home of the free. And eh, the Great Depression kind of kills us. What I want to do is get into the war er as early as I can. I need to puppet Venezuela, go to war with them, puppet them, through a series of national focuses, and then guarantee Poland somehow. Hmm. Could be a challenge. Let's see. Reaffirm Monroe Doctrine. Trade opinion. Trade opinion doesn't really matter. Let's get WPA first. What does it stand for? Works Project Association? Something like that? Get political power, because right now we're not getting any because of the Great Depression. Let's get some research going. Action efficiency cap, better construction, engineering would be great, and one more, one more. What should I do? Superior firepower, naval doctrine, air, engineering. Synthetic oil could be really good. Um. You know, I'm probably going to build some synthetic refineries. Let's go with synthetic oil for now. Construction. What are we going to build? Well, in total, we have 130 civilian factories. Right now, we only have five military factories that we can use. How about this? We'll build, like, this year only. We'll build up a bunch of civilian factories. And then the following years, we'll just build nothing but military factories. Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri. Um... This place, this place, this place. Yeah, I totally know all my American geography and then military factories after that. Uh, yeah. Lots of military factories. I'm going to be pooping out military factories by the time we're done. Because we have five. And our current needs are lots of infantry equipment. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, we don't need this interwar carrier fighters. That's pretty weak and we don't have any rubber. Yeah, that'll be fine. Something that would be good to do. Uh, Great War tanks, planes that we don't have any rubber to spare. That's all we got. Uh, let's get another line going. Uh, infantry equipment, artillery, and support equipment. And we shall increase the number of these things. These things. If I make any more, go to two, five, five. Okay, increase, increase, increase. Oh, we're going to fix up our naval side. Oh, that's always a great amount of fun. Battleships. Battleships. Ooh, two carriers. Which are going to be basically useless at the moment. Light cruisers. Heavy cruisers. Heavy cruisers. Yeah, I'm just going to put everything under one navy pretty much right now. I think when I make it the next, my actual first navy, then I will, uh, Put all the new ships in there. And then come back to this one. Let's see. Ex experience. Spotting chance. Number of troops in first combat. Check. Let's go with Fletcher. Fourth submarine. Admiral. Admiral. Commander. I don't have any sea wolves. So. Let's go with this guy. No, no, no. He's, a, he's, a, he's not very good. Uh, let's go with Stark. So we're going to keep these guys separate. Level 4 base, level 5 base, level 10. Keep the subs out. Where's Hawaii? Hello, Hawaii. You should go base yourself in Hawaii. Just trash the wings, that's fine. Seriously, just trash all the wings. I'll rebuild them all. Patrol bombers, huh? I'll just do it like this. Right. Crash them. Very nice. 
Okay. So we've got some more guys over here. We got one carrier. Navy. One over here. Uh, is there anyone in Panama? No. Let's see. Is anyone else around here? Now, obviously there are. In. The Philippine Division. Uh, let's see. You can go to Hawaii. Because you're going to rebase with them. I'll take this Asiatic fleet. You can go right there. This is going to be the old dead fleet. It's basically what we're going to call it. The old dead fleet. The East Coast, where are you? Oh, that was that was the one. There are a lot of ships on this side. Battleships, light cruisers, destroyers, yeah, put them all there. A bunch more destroyers. It's an infinite number of destroyers. Alright. Looks pretty good so far. Lots of subs. Lots of crappy subs. And a carrier. That mine. I'm going to separate these two. You go to Florida. Because there's no other place that has high enough level. Alright. Let's gather up all, all my soldiers. One army. Attention. Texas Division, you are 12. Uh, so Indian Head and two others have 18. Yeah, we're going to have to change this. You, you, and you from this other group. You will be under combat weight too. Logistics, combat weight. You can be under Eisenhower. That's fine. You're gonna set a train. Best of you three will be under someone cool. Not cool, but okay. Doesn't really matter. High supply. Uh, MacArthur would be okay. It would be great. Let's see. It doesn't matter. Mark Clark, whatever. Attention. Right. You. We'll put you under. This will be coastal defense person. Offensive combat width. Someone. Here. here. This is a good guy we can use. Eh, you can use a promotion. Is your garbage tier? You're also garbage tier. Joseph, you get this guy. And then you get this guy. Oh, there's more ships. Destroyers. You know what? Let's send them to the other fleet just in case. Actually, if it's going to be garbage tier, we'll add you as well. Because this is your, all the old ships. All the forgotten garbage place people. Not that the people are bad, but the, you know, the ships are pretty garbage. Right. Anyone else? Yes. Uh, we're gonna have to immediately convert you to. What division is this? 18. Well, oh, it doesn't matter. Ready, doesn't matter. Hawaiian division. Midway division. Wake Island and probably the Philippines. Oh, Guam and then the Philippines. Or or Christmas Island. Okay. Yes, now there's a reason why I'm doing this. It's because they're all going to have to defend their little garbage islands. Or the coast. This will be my coast defense army. Sorry, Joseph, you got a boring job. Coast defense. If you've seen my other playthroughs, if you've seen my other playthroughs, you'll know that I do this quite often. Uh, there's not much else I can do. Let's see. WPA. Let's see what happens. Oh, we need dockyard stuff. So you're gonna finish this first, and then you go down here, and then you go down here, and then at the end we'll make some convoys. Lots and lots of convoys. All these old destroyers and submarines and cruisers. You, Battleship Division 1. Production, Battleship Division 1. You as well. Where am I docking my subs? Hopefully, hopefully I can make enough supplies for everybody. Maybe not. Well, they have no supplies, whatever. They're not getting attacked. Orders. 
Uh, the subs are going Hawaii. Okay, Hawaii's going to have it. Second sub squadron. Sure. All right. Construction is going on civilian factories, which is going to take forever, of course. And how much else is going on? All these boys are training, hopefully. Losing all sorts of equipment. We need more artillery and support equipment. Definitely do. Oh, oh, oh we're building quite a few destroyers. Alright, looks like I got the other fleet here. Ah, garbage tier. I love garbage tier, don't you? Garbage ships. Old garbage ships. Old garbage submarines. Oh. And we're on the destroyers, and then we'll end up with convoys. Right. 137 ships. That's pretty good. Uh, we're over max capacity because of all the destroyers. Let's see if the other... F no, I don't have another fleet because this is all I have. Okay, so we got two rank 1 carriers. We've got one rank 2 carrier. And a crap ton of rank 1 battleships which will get killed off pretty soon if they get into a battle. More battleships, battleships, battleships... Heavy cruisers, light cruisers, destroyers, destroyers, an insane amount of destroyers. Looks good. No political power. Oh, now we do. Alright. So, we got WPA. We don't need Committee on Technoc... 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 Technoc that T word right there. Technocracy. And Support Rock Island. We're going to go next. What we will need is reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. And what we're going to do with our political power. I wish we could get to war economy, but since we don't make any a day, we have to get Mr. Who is it? Silent Workhorse. We get at least a little bit every single day. <clears throat> Alright, so we don't have any yet. We get 0.3 a day. Better than nothing, but it's something. And we get a little bit of army experience, which is good. We really need a lot of equipment now. Except Mark Clark. Mark Clark's okay. Oh, right. Electronic mechanical engineering. What did we discover? Not enough. Going to have to reshape up some of these divisions. Uh, let's see. Infantry division. Wait. Subjects? I've got subjects? <gasps> I get Philippine subjects. Let's see. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Could copy it, but... That's okay. I've got enough at the moment. Uh, I don't want to see the Philippines one anymore. Okay. Infantry. Replace these with artillery. Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't have enough. I want to make super army XP stuff. Like You'll see what I'm going to do. Let's see. Gotta wait, gotta wait. More political power. I'm trying to finish up the Monroe Doctrine. Retrade, disarm nation. Losing a bunch of supplies. It was artillery. Right. Ooh, basic machine tools. And there goes nationalist and Republican Spain. They like killing each other. Let's go with this one, please. Thank you. Spanish Civil War. It's pretty normal. Reaffirm Monroe Doctrine. So it doesn't matter which one I do. I'm going to save the one for Venezuela last. Right. Uh, maybe I should have gone for some other texts or focuses first, like Committee on Technocracy, because bonus is pretty good. That's not bad, though. Uh, support artillery and support technology? Not bad. Alright, not much is going on. Of course, this is the United States. Pretty normal. The beginning is pretty weak, pretty boring. Just trying to create a bunch more civilian factories right now. 
right. Construction one. Nice. Excavation could be good. Um, how's our artillery? Interwar artillery could be better. Land doctrine. Is there a focus for that? Let's see. Let's just go with the excavation for now. Because I extract a bunch. Whatever. Is there a bonus to land doctrine anywhere? Isolation. Military construction. Uh, giant Awakes. USACE project. Limited intervention. No. Research slot. I don't think I get a bonus. War propaganda. Maybe it's over here? No. I guess I don't really get a bonus very much to military trees. Oop, there goes Ethiopia. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's special forces. Ooh, the neighbors. Very nice. Wartime. Da 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 da. Yeah, none. That's okay. The neighbors. Uh, let's see. This is for electronics, so artillery and support. This is industry and electronics. I'll get that stuff eventually. Let's just focus on uh, Latin America or everywhere in America but us. Now I've got a little bit of political power. So what do we want to do? Can't do this. Can't do that. Export focus is not okay for now. Political advisor. Fascism support. Armaments. Military factory. Uh, improvement speed. Could be good. Hmm. What do I want? Well, it's still going to be quite a while until we get to some military factories. So instead of going for that construction speed, we should go for a theorist. Ooh. Mobile warfare campaign or doctrine? No. Victory through air power, naval aviation. Superior firepower would be great to have. I'm probably going to wait and just kind of build it up then. I don't mind getting more army experience, daily gain, and it's superior firepower doctrine. Help. Ooh. I thought it said army morale, but I thought it said army mustache. Offense, recovery rate, division training time. Anything special? Chrysler? Oh. Deck size goes down? Yeah, how about no? Deck size goes down. Deck size goes up. Newport would be the one I want to do. Armors go okay as well. Yeah, I'm going to wait for uh, Omar Bradley. Superior. Superior? Superior. FDR. Hello, FDR. Synthetic oil experiments. I can build refineries. Nice. Engineering. Reinforce rate. Sure, why not? Never have enough political power. How's construction going, okay? It's going alright. Central America. Nice. Now we've got a lot. Caribbean sphere. Ooh, free dockyards. So I guess we finish up that other stuff. Is there anything worth really producing? Oh god. Uh, let's see. New Mexico battleship. Well, how, is it, how are those different? Um, we could sort of run a carriers now. I mean, I have no chromium, though. Um, I have a ton of convoys already. What's the difference between carrier Yorktown and Ranger class? 5,000 service manpower. 5, 10, 5, 30. 5,000, 10, 5, 30. Fire range is 15, 10.2. 15, 10.2. Yorktown class is slightly better evasion. Firepower is 1, 2, 10. 2, 10. 28.8. 40, 40. Uh, it's just, I think, better overall. 325 HP. A little more, slightly more armor. 80% reliability. Dex size is 55. 56. Production cost is the exact same. So, let's just build a couple carriers. Why not? You shall go under this fleet first, because they need a little bit more. They're going to need more. 
because I'm planning on losing them. What is this fleet called? Battleship Division 1. I am going to lose this fleet. At least that's my plan. Alright, uh, also. Do not want to go in yet, because we want Omar Bradley. Yes. So, Mexico, you like, you like, uh, democracy, right? You like being democratic. It's a good thing to be democratic. Uh, I guess we could stop training. They're all pretty experienced at this point. Y'all can come like here, <clears throat> the next half can come like here, and the next half can come like there, or something. Let's see, U14, they're not, they're, you're not done yet. Oh, this guy, uh, what size naval invasion can I launch? Because I want to invade, eventually, Venezuela. Just takes, where do I find this? Oh wait, I need to be on a naval tab. Subs, maybe? Oh, it's all garbage here. Let's get those ones in Hawaii back. Let's put them over there. That'll help us with uh, Venezuela. Hopefully. The election of 1936. The Democrats four more years. Let's see. Infrastructure speed goes up and more national unity, which won't affect us. Or... Better industrial research time and ideology drift defense. Well, we'll just go historical. Mechanical computing, concentrated industry, very nice. Still 1936. I don't need level two. That wouldn't make any real difference. Uh, artillery would be good to go under, as well as um. What about this? Motorized. Why not? What is my ability for uh, having a naval invasion? They are a puppet. Cool. Um, what do I click to see where, where that is? Is it just like under here? Like, not focus, it's under research ships. Oh. Naval invasion capacity, 10. So you always start off with 10, huh? Weird. Well, let's wait for everyone to get down here. Infrastructure could be better in Louisiana and Mississippi. God, guys. Fix your roads. That's why we elected FDR for better, uh... Infrastructure. So we got five here. Launch from here to invade... Caracas. And I'll take another five. From Mobile. Caribbean Sphere, very nice. Let me get this one first. Here to there. That should be pretty good. Mobile. So we're going to go to South America. And we'll go with Pax Americana and Preemptive Intervention. Hopefully. You can change something. What do I want to change, though? Do I need to change anything? War industrialist would be good to, really good to get. Industry, General Electric. Let's see, it's still 19, it's almost 1937. And that's going to be more industry stuff. So let's probably go with an industry bonus. Standard Oil, California. Because that's what we're going to hit up next. And we got two more factories, nice. Excavation finished. Very good. Uh, 150 days, 112 days, and eh, we might as well do that. Production, there's our cap. Are you guys done yet? No, they are not done. And they will not be done. For a while. All 78 subs. Very nice. You know, just in case, I'm going to move this huge-ass navy. We're going to move to... Virginia. Three carriers without any planes. Eh, maybe I should build some planes. Fifteen battleships. Ah, screw it. Let's build a plane or two. 
Carrier fighter. I would be okay with that. Take it off. We are still building chromium ships. That's fine. Ten per year, huh? Got quite a stockpile of carrier fighters. All right. Good radio. Now it's February, 1937. Ooh, building radio would be good, but industry. Let's go with construction speed, because I don't want to produce goods that will eventually become out of date. America's going, getting better and better. More political power, huh? Material designer. Um, mobile tanks. Soft attack, reliability, reliability, speed. I think speed is probably the best thing. I'm going to save it for now. Or spend it now. Pax Americana. Right. I'm not really sure who to spend it on. We're not quite there yet for building military factories. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, this page. Material designer. Planes. We're gonna need planes. A lot of planes. Fighters would be great to have. How about over here? Anything? Anything over here? No? Uh, special Forces attack. D Division attrition would be really good to get, actually. Sorority efficiency is pretty good as well. Um, really, he's not very much. I guess I'll just go with War Industrialist for now. Because then we'll be soon begin uh, building military factories. I'm going to hold on to some more political power because I'm going to need to hold on to a lot to guarantee Poland, I think. 550. And we need more world tension. Nice. Interwar artillery. What are my benefits again? To research. And industry and land doctrine. Yeah, let's go with land doctrine. That'd be really good to do. Hmm. Artillery. Motorization. Infantry. Deck size, no, no. Armor, max range. Everyone gets a ton more range, and carriers get bigger sizes. Hmm. Ah, screw it, we'll do it, why not? We'll build up more stuff, anyways. I wonder how big uh, Venezuela's stuff is. Let's see who the subs. I'll just head on over there, just kind of watch and see what happens. Fruit machine tools, very nice. Put better output industry. Can we see anybody? Do they have anyone over here? No? Okay. Just wondering. Pax Americana. Infrastructure construction speed so good right now. Pretty democratic here. We got that done. Uh, let's see. What did I do? Ships. Naval research time. I get a bonus to all that stuff, though. Bonus for Marines, transports, naval doctrine, naval bombers, carrier models, battleships, space strike. Not very much destroyer production, but not destroyer themselves. So in 1937. I don't think I can do very much. I think it's in 1936. Okay. Uh, let's do better destroyers. Why not? Because we we're going to invade soon, so we need better weapons and equipment. That's why not. Okay. Sorry if I'm a little confusing. I know I can be. Pax Americana. <clears throat> Gain puppet focus war goal against Venezuela. Cool. Hindenburg disaster. Are you guys equipped yet? Like, seriously? No, we need a ton of infantry equipment. Alright, that's better. Slightly better. Um, where are my carriers? 
in Virginia? Not yet. Oh, they actually have to move to Virginia. You guys. History, no history, no experience. Where, where'd they go? Oops. Alright, uh, let's see. Add planes. Well, I think I would probably want a few carrier fighters and a few naval bombers. That'd be fine. And then add all the rest. Uh, we have room for 21. Uh, one. There you go. 31? 31. That's 55. Set it to 21. That'll be good. And then the rest of them over there. We want the fighters. 21 there as well. We will need to produce more naval bombers, carrier naval bombers at least. And eventually we're going to have to add some motorized as well. Oh boy. Oh, not to play well, okay. Battleship Division 1. I mean, other than that, it looks okay, right? Looks pretty good, we just need a lot more infantry equipment. Eisenhower will do a great job. Construction 2 finished. Quite an achievement, we circumnavigated the globe. Um, resource efficiency game, why not? It doesn't really help us very much at the moment, but it doesn't really hurt us either. Preemptive intervention. They're pretty fascist here. We can't have that. Preemptive intervention. Game puppet. Focus goal. Can boost party popularities of other nations. Increase world tension, which is not bad. Uh, start a civil war. Hmm. Bureau of ships. Can I actually justify a war now? Anyways, we'll justify war next. Uh, guys, we just started off the USA this time. I'm en ending the episode here if I can speak correctly. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. We're going to spread freedom across the world, whether people like it or not. And I hope you enjoyed it. So hope you leave a like, maybe subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one.